Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal and our weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian. And I'm your host, Mike Crowley. Franklin, how are you? Just fine. Thank you. All right. So today um, um, there are a number of things to talk about, including uh, segment A of town meeting is coming up. What's what 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 are some of the highlights from uh, that that folks can expect with town meeting? Well, segment A is the uh, portion of town meeting, which is not the budget. So it's going to be more, uh, uh, there's going to be a lot of um, um, house cleaning, um, a lot of things that are going to, that are here on an annual basis. There are going to be a few citizen petitions. The most prominent of those is uh, one by the uh, people who are, um, who are in the energy committee and, and things like that, who are, now what's, uh, what's, what's this, what's, what's this one about Franklin? It's about uh, solar arrays at the at the high school. Now you know that uh, solar arrays uh, uh, about two. It's going to cost about two point three million dollars to put uh, uh, solar panels on the roof of the uh, new high school, new high school and middle school. Um, there are there is concerns by a number of citizens that think that uh, uh, that the building committee, because they are feeling a, a bit of a crunch with the uh, contingency. Uh, amounts that they have for the building uh, that's getting very low, that uh, uh, that there might be a, a, a delay or if not a cancellation of those solar arrays. Now, I the, wanted to ask you about that, Franklin. So that the solar arrays have been a planned feature of of this of this building project for a, n- a number of years, haven't they? From from the almost the very uh, from the almost from the uh, very beginning, um, uh, the one. Uh, and if you ask the uh, committee itself, they say it's never been put off. It's never been asked to be delayed. It's just been they, uh, the debate has been when do you put the solar arrays on the building? Do you put it on uh, now for that two point three million dollars, or do you wait to the very end? You know, after all the educational uh, components of the building is are is, is you know developed into the building, and then do it at the very end. Now, there are people who believe that saying to put it at the very end is the smart idea because, um, you know, because of the, the rapid change in, in, in solar technology, you could, get, you could get a better product for a cheaper price um, if you wait maybe two, three, four years. Um, and, right. but it's hard, it's hard to say, say that, that, Franklin, isn't it, in today's inflationary environment? That's right. You know, there's a lot of things that are going on, and and, and but there's a philosophical uh, issue to this also. Should um, uh, people should uh, the uh, town meeting get involved with building uh, with the building um, uh, specifically? You know, you have a building committee just to do that, and should you know if if you if you allow this to occur, what what says in what? Maybe in the future there could be another thing that is going on in town. Let's say with the library or the rink, and a group of people say, "Well, we want this at the rink, and or we want this at the library," and and it could really uh, affect how that building is is done. You know, uh, we have a way of, of of building something, and that's through a building committee, which is uh, the town moderator selects the people, and they're usually very good. You know, um, uh, they've done, had experience with this. But but there are people in town who believe that, you know, we need the solar arrays as quickly as possible because we don't want them, we don't want them left behind. Even though so one the building w- committee says we're not doing that. Yeah. So Frank Franklin, one, one thing I want to ask you is this: is this a binding vote, or is this is this merely something advisory or expressing a sense of of town meeting? No, they may, they they are saying that the million dollars that are in ARPA funds that are that the select board has given. Uh, will be giving to the building committee, uh, which they promised, um, that has to be directly, uh, that has to be specifically for the solar arrays. Now the ARPA funds was, were for uh, COVID related uh, expenses and, and that building committee and that building, um, that construction has been uh, affected by COVID. So that money should be going there, but it's going to be directed to a different way. Now you can see how that can, affect how the building is done you know that this money should be covid related but it's not all right well though there will probably be a great deal of discussion about that about that article at town meeting um any any others that um are likely to generate controversy 
I don't. Th- I don't. I don't think so. I think it's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's nothing uh, out there to say let's uh, let's uh, cut the budget of uh, of a department or let's um, you know um, half the salary of somebody. So I, I don't think it's going to be all that controversial. All right. So Franklin, um, the um, the town's fuel tank replacement project um, continues to. Um, to, to be in the news. What, what can you tell us about, about that? It, well, in the next week, the next two weeks, I should say, um, we will have a, uh, the final public meeting uh, to discuss where, how, or what we're going to be doing with uh, the fuel tanks that are at the DPW yard. Um, they are currently uh, below ground, which um, a lot of experts say is not the right way to do it. They should be above ground, so you don't have any leakage. They're very old and uh, no one wants to have pollution, especially that kind of uh, uh, pollution, because that's very expensive and, and very harmful for the, for the community around it. Now, there's a, there's a large proportion. Now, in back, I believe it was three years ago, two years ago at town meeting, we saw uh, a, a town meeting basically say, no, we don't want, un, uh, we don't want above ground. Uh, we want um, a, a different way of looking at it. So. The, the town has gone through a very long and, and uh, process of finding out whether, you know, they can, you know, whether it should be above ground or below ground uh, right and, now. And Frank, I'm sorry, we, Franklin, is the, is the town now ready to pitch its final recommendation? Basically what it is. We'll see, um, uh, we'll see um, uh, that the town presents uh, a lot of information. Um, uh, you know, the, right now the, uh, the, uh, the automobiles, uh, the, uh, police cars and police vehicles are being are going out and doing uh being filled up at gas stations you know not not at the uh at the fuel tanks um we'll see how successful that is um they're, they're going to come out with a large amount of of um, information uh, and um we should have some kind of um uh, feel for what the town is going to do um whether that uh, satisfies people for one way or the other we'll see all right. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens, um, Franklin. And then the last, the last story I think that we have, um, you know, an interesting public public safety related kind of um, event took place. Yeah, it's more like out of a true cr- a crime uh, a podcast. <laughs> what we had is a, a a couple who were living on um, you know on the end of uh, B Street. Uh, right next to the uh, DPW yard, which we've been talking about, uh-huh. um, uh, very quietly living there. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, uh, this week, uh, the, uh, the, the, the gentleman who was um, uh, the, the husband uh, was uh, um, stopped and uh, uh, arrested uh, uh, by, the, uh, by uh, immigration uh, because it turned out that he... Uh, back in the 1990s, uh, murdered his wife in Colombia, uh, uh, escaped to uh, Mexico, then crossed the border, married a person, uh, married uh, his wife, uh, and they moved to, and who was a naturalized citizen, and they moved to uh, Belmont, where they've been very quietly living. And so far, we've been hearing from people who live in the area who know uh, of the uh, the wife, because she uh, worked in the uh, school department and um, I should say aftercare. And um, uh, everybody says that they were just this, this really nice, um, quiet couple, you know, who do people favors in that area. And um, to say it was a shock is, uh, <laughs> to put it bluntly. Um, so he is going to be extradited to Columbia to finish off a um, more than quarter century of his sentence. All right. I guess you never do really know who the neighbors are. That's true. All right. So thank you, Franklin. And we'll talk with you next week. And if you'd like to see more of Franklin's reporting, be sure to visit Belmontonian.com.